It's fan home time. It's magazine number 28 on the Enterprise D build. We're up to 109 on the parts. Hi guys, Ralph here. So we're up to magazine 28 of the Fan Home Build the Enterprise D, part bag 109. So what have we got in here so far? We have the back end of the warp nacelle grill. I won't be using that because mine is modded, modded, but I will be assembling that anyway, alongside, should show you what to do if you're up to this stage and you haven't had a decent person doing the spray work on the nacelles for you. Anyway, so we also have lifeboats, FMAP screws, the LED strip, which I will be using on mine because I use that as a base to attach the other LEDs onto and it makes it a lot easier instead of just having that there and then, yeah, it, for me it works. And then we've got the back part of the saucer with the cutout for the um, for the impulse engine, saucer impulse engine. There's another part there which is a, a push-in lifeboat because that one there screws in and gets covered. So I think, correct if I'm wrong, I think that might actually be the last panel part of all of the saucer. We've got the secondary hull just about done. We're doing that as we're plodding along because we've got the LED light there. Yeah, the saucer is going to be done except what in the next part is actually the main part which goes underneath where the neck connects to the the secondary, yeah, yeah, the, the neck onto the primary hull and the saucer section. So that, I think, is the last panel part which will be fitting. Which is a bit sad because this has been basically going on for years now. So, let's get this on bagged, get this ready, we'll start building. Now we're up to 109, and I suspect that this and the next one may be a little bit quick, but that's all right, short, sharp videos are perfectly fine. So we want to get this part here, which is actually the final small piece. Oh, that goes on to everywhere, that's fine. So, all it needs is, few of those and the blanking plate which goes on here this will go into the back corner of the nacelle I'm putting these on willy-nilly don't care where they go if they're upside down or not because I'm doing the might lane mods because they cover over all of the lifeboats which is nice and I'm gonna do with that actually this time while it's on the saucer because I did it last time while it was on here and it was a little bit of a problem to be honest so yes tons of those spare so this goes in that way and I want two AM screws and a screwdriver would be nice um, two AMs little AM screw it is nice that we are so far into this that we can see the end now so I mean, there's 11 more parts we have one another one after this for this magazine but it's really nice to see we're so far into this. Granted that we could have easily have not got this far. And a big shout out to Fan Home for, for this model kit, for getting the thing restarted and finding the stock for all this. It cannot have been easy, but um, yes. So they're all over the place. Yours want to be the right direction for this one here. So the, the dot is down and faces out to the bottom of the ship. So I'm only one, two, three, wrong way around. That doesn't matter so much. That's on there, that's on there. Ah, right, so I do need that piece, but I also need the saucer section. So bear with, coming. Out of the way. So this goes over here. It doesn't go that way, it goes that way. I need three screws now, three, one FM screw which goes in there and two DP screws which go on the outside. So I want, I think I'll just lip over on that to go into there. So I just want to put the edge there on that tab in. I don't want to get anything with that. And that just sits over. Is there any lights or anything? No, that's out of the way. Cool. Bit of a gap. So let's find. We have FM DPs, DP, DP, two DPs. So DPs on the back, yes. I'll put them in, but I'm not gonna fully screw in. 
because I'm not quite sure if that's lined up or not. So I know it's not lined up. A mile, I can tell it's not lined up properly. That screw's not going in. There we go. The other one, FM. Yes, FM, FM. See, the DPs go into plastic, the M's go into metal. Hence the name. So that's lined up with this screw going in. That's good. So I'm just going to push it a little bit that way and then make sure that lip's fine. Again, go around the, the screws, different parts. If they overheat, then they could potentially knacker up. And that's a technical term, that kids. <laughs> just trying to make sure there's no bumps going through because the screws are too long. Done and done. Hand tighten again. That way out is where you're supposed to put that. For me, it doesn't matter because I'm about to put the. Oh, is this? No, this can't be the final. Uh, is this the final one to these? No, can't be. Let's have a think. Um, we've done the underneath. We've done that. We've got this bit left to do. Is there any on here? Because that's going to fit on there, and that's going to be the completed saucer. Almost. I don't think there is any on here, but we'll find that eventually. Right, I need a pencil, because this is how these go. Um, they're just transfers, little rub-on transfers, which is nice. Just expose a few. If this is the end of these, then I've got plenty spare. So if any cock up while I'm doing the rest of the mods, I mean, this one's just gone a little bit there. I mean, the beauty of these is you can take them off and manually put them on. I don't want to, to be honest. But if I've done these, it's just the warmth of your finger does work, but putting these directly on and rubbing with a pencil works better. And they do say rub over X, Y, Z amount of times. This is cool. They're just trying to tell you how to use their product, which is nice. And all you have to do, if you want to do these, is MikeLane.com, I think it is. They have upgrades to so many of these build kits. The DeLorean, the Enterprise, there's, there's absolutely stacks. Little upgrades that you know, you might think, you know, you could do with having that, and they've probably already thought of it. Already thought, and it's already there. I think these just set things off really well. There are some people making this, and they've kept this to one side. I, on where I'm doing it, as I'm doing the panels, great. It took a little while to catch up, but actually doing this now as I'm going is a lot better because I haven't got to make do hundreds and hundreds I'm just gonna be careful with that because I might need some more I just basically the heat of my thumb and a bit of pressure I've got a bit of pink on there because I was up great updating the um remember a few quite a few episodes ago a couple of months ago I put the um the, the secondary hull was done except there was problems with the rear phaser array on the back back end of it and it kind of melted a little bit with the amount of glue I had to use to get on there because it was an absolute yeah it wasn't good let's say so I've had to just been playing and repainted a little bit so I've got red paint on my hand so I just need to try and get it off but it's it's one of them type of paints that is going to be stuck there for a while so ignore that it's just red paint it's just not yeah pink fine so that's in place Nice, done. There's actually a nice even line there, it's just this one from last time was absolute rubbish. Probably could do a little drop of glue in there and maybe hold it about there, just to match the line. But that's not really going to happen. Right, we are on with the nacelles, and I'm going to show you something with the nacelle right now. Here is my completed nacelle. This is the one we've all got up to this stage. 
it's all there it's all done it's all happy and I'm yeah this is the port one I have got rid of the battery pack and that's might need a little bit more blending with the paint but it's, it's fine enough for me they're still missing the three parts on there but that's the port and cell because everything's red <sighs> this is the one the one that I got from oh, was it Starship Modeler thank you very much because this was the one that he got parts one two possibly parts I don't know if it's three to six or not but here is the next part of where is this part gone? Right, there we go. So we have here and we have these parts here. This LED strip for the one we're doing, which is what's coming with the kit, and I have swapped over already this to there. And to be honest, I don't know why they've missed this, but that silver part, the light blocker, is missing from the date for this part. So it does fit better with that light blocker in, and I don't know why it's not there. So this looks different for some reason. I've got three LEDs and a connector. I'm going to be copying what I did with that because I have got a light strip all inside here. This will go inside there but for you guys doing this and following along at home there is one, two, there's a connector and the LED. I know a lot of people have been saying you need to put two on the front. I'm just not bothered. The one will go on the front and that's lighting up and the connector there will go to the other these two go so they are oh, where do they go now these kind of go into there actually that goes right way around because that's already pre-bent so that gets screwed into place one of these goes to the landing well the the navigation light over here the other one will plug into the navigation light on the other section when it comes which i think that might not be far away so i'll just spread them left and right so not trapping cables. I'm still using this on the on the other one. I'm just gonna show you how this goes in. There's a locating tab there inside that one. There's a screw hole there. These can go round and straight on. And they're secure in with three CP screws there, there, and there. I do feel that that is a bit of a problem because the soldering on that feels poor. Very poor. But I'm still gonna use the LEDs on here, like I've done inside there and use the strip. There's no problem with having more lights in. So, actually that won't press down there. Because that peg is for absolutely no reason at all. It won't go through. Hmm. Well, the rest on top of these, is this actually the right way around? It is the right way around, of course it is, because that'll fit that way. So that will screw in through there, there and there and rest in, in the place and come up to a different part. I'm ignoring that for a second because I'm going to fit that inside mine, but for yours, you will need to put for the last one, there is a section inside here, which is this 109G and H that's already been pre-inserted and, oh hang on, Yes, there is. So that can go in there like that. And this part here will go around there like so. And then secure in with two uh, 109F, which is AP screws. AP because it's a B. So like I said, the other one has already been done. This is just to show you guys, as I'm going, that this is what you do. And once we're fully caught up on that one, we will fully jump over to that one. And while I'm here, that's in place, with the LED strip down the front, is what the manufacturers want you to do. However, well, if that wants to go in there, it just sits in there for the time being. It's, it's light blocking. Well, it's light diffusing, should we say. And it does kind of work, but also doesn't, in my opinion, because the lighting isn't enough inside here anyway. So what I need to do is fit this inside my own. One light, why are these so long? Because that goes 
around and under there. And up. Real long cable for some reason. You can see what ties there? Nope. Tweezers. I want you to put it underneath there so the cable's well out of the way. Uh, this other one will come up eventually. Okay, that's just a barely a locating pin. CP. A CP screw in the middle. It all will come onto its own quite quickly. I want to show you exactly what I'm doing on here. See the LED strip that I've got in here, this one that's in, on the inside of here, does need 5 volts. Which I find this is running on a, I think it's running on a 5 volt system, it's 6 volts. I think all this lot is, is dumbed down to 6 volts. Where's the screw hole for that? There it is. What am I trapping? Am I trapping anything there? No. So that's how they want you to do that for the time being, which is fine, three screws in the middle. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put that one in inside here for the landing lights. They want you to, this, the cable's far too long for this. Which is quite weird. Just a case of wrapping it round and trying to hide it really. Inside that black sheath in there, there is, or I suspect there is, a um, flasher unit. Or is it what's on here? Somewhere on the circuits on there. On the diodes, I think. So that pushes into place there. It barely fits in here. This is what's so difficult about this. Because I think the LEDs are just a bit, there you go. It's forced in place. Good, done. So that one will do the same on the top side when we get round to that. What is going to happen now is that's a connector which will connect to... I need to make another one of these. So that connector comes out here. I think I extended it. I'll definitely trap that bit and all inside there, which doesn't help. Hmm. Yeah, that needs to be looked at. So. Then we'll go to the um, deflector, on, no, the um, bus side collector on the front whenever it gets round to it. And I need to wire between here and either corner of here's to power up this LED strip. And that's how I light up these nacelles. And they will connect it onto here, go onto the body and happy. That is definitely too short to leave. Is it too short? Actually, I don't think it is. I think that will come out there. So that's probably all right to leave that on there. So that might be the original one. But I do need to test that because I think that's trapped underneath there. But that is 109 done. It's a quite short one, but showing on my part of the nacelles anyway of what I'm going to do. Simples. So that in mind, thanks for watching. Please like, share and subscribe. Follow my social media. Consider being a patron. Consider joining my Discord channel. And I will see you in another video. Bye-bye for now.